Hi there guys, okay, yeah, so this is the um, second video and um, what we're doing is we are setting up an FTP server and um, we've already got our outer, outer IP address, our local IP address, we've got our web server set up, our port forwarding has been set up, we've already um, started the server, we've started the um, FTP server, so both of them are running. Now to configure our server. Well, every computer has a local server that answers. To reach it, all you have to do is type in 127.0.0.1 and then you can see this is our um, local IP address. It's also now hosted by X server, which means our X server is, is up and running and everything looks perfectly fine. But to configure um, our X server, we need to go to a, spe a, speci a specific port on the server itself and that you do by putting a colon and um, the FTP server is 32124 okay so um, now it says start FTP server setup and here we have it um, if you can remember we did a port forward for port number 21 so we're going to leave it at port 21 um, uh, when the user lists the content of the root shall the user see nothing okay allow anonymous login no you don't want um, anonymous people to log on to your FTP server especially if you're hosting a bunch of um, files and stuff you don't want people to see that okay log file name leave it as is let's go to the next step okay so we um, it gives us uh, some of our accounts I've already created an account but for now I'm gonna create a new account so I'm going to go to create new accounts. The account name will be, let's call it Bob. Set the root. I've already got um, in my second hard drive a folder that I've created and I've named that folder server. So let's go to my FTP folder. So you can choose. Um, I've created my folder named it FTP so I choose that folder okay and I want to set a password let's say um, Bob1234 rename the password it's Bob1234 and we create the account new accounts created click OK alright so now we have Bob in our accounts click on Bob to select it alright and then we go and um, tell it what to do with the directories and stuff so we get to shared directories and um, in the share folder we want to tell it to share the FTP folder okay the person Bob has got write read and create access and then we share the folder and now you can see that um, all the stuff has been updated perfectly well everything okay Let's just maximize it and okay let's go set aliases there's no aliases don't okay so everything looks fine for Bob all right now to test our um, FTP server we're just going to minimize that in case we have a problem we're gonna minimize this to in case we have a problem the FTP server is active at the moment so everything looks okay and let's start off by going to our FTP server by saying FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then our outer IP address which was 86 spot 28 spot 152 spot 54 and then ask us for our username and password which is Bob and Bob1234 click login and there we go we can now see the f the folders and the files in our FTP root okay but this doesn't look very user-friendly so how do we get it to look user-friendly well remember that I said that an FTP server is exactly the same as a web server well there is a slight difference and the difference is that your Internet Explorer um, can actually convert and send drag and drop files in between normal Windows 
programs for example if I go and right click on my start go to explore take out all of this information and type FTP there's my FTP address we're gonna go Bob go Bob again one two three four log on and now you can actually see it's much more user friendly it actually shows you what is a zip file it shows you what setup files it shows you which is normal files and you can drag and drop between the actual server and your computer okay all of these um, external IP addresses can be reached from anywhere in the world if you have small documents tech documents you can even access it from your mobile but please remember to use usernames and passwords strong username and passwords and only allocate a username and password to a single user for security reasons obviously don't put anything in your server you don't want everyone to see all right so um, I hope this helps this is this was the second video if you have um, missed uh, some of it maybe look at the first video and um, you can see how we set it up and everything like that so um, from me if you have any questions you can post them otherwise um, you can leave a comment thank you very much speak to you later cheers